In this video, we check out the best barbecue spots around San Diego next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. And today, we are checking out four of the best barbecue spots in all of San Diego, California. Right now, we are starting off here at Smokin' Jay's Barbecue. Of course, we had to start off at a place named Smokin' Jay's. We're here in Poway, California, over near Old Poway Park. They have an amazing area where it looks like old school, wild, wild west area here in San Diego. Smokin' Jay's is actually owned by two brothers and we're gonna go inside, talk to them and try out some of their unique foods. These four places that I'm showing you are gonna range from touristy to local and everything in between, but all four of these places are great in their own unique way and they're spread out throughout San Diego County. So let's go inside, check out Smokin' Jay's, which is our first spot. This video is filmed in no particular order. All these places are amazing. All right, Jaycationers, so I'm sitting down here with two of the three owners of Smokin' Jays. The two Jays, Josh and Jeremy. How are you guys doing? Good, doing good. Great, man. Thanks for coming out. Oh, well, thanks for having me. And I was telling you guys earlier that I did a Poway video and I featured you guys like earlier in the year. And I said, you know what? If I ever do a best barbecue video in San Diego, Smokin' Jays is the spot because oh, you guys yeah, are so unique. Back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We started mobile like a lot of restaurants nowadays and worked our way up, saved money. We started here because Phil Hart Beef that's next door to us uh -huh. uh, sold sold me beef for a couple of years oh, wow. while we were mobile. So he just said a spot was available. We moved on in. Uh, six months later, the pokey shop that was here closed down, so we took that over too. Oh, nice. Expanded. So you guys obviously understand the San Diego flair because you have got the burrito. A burrito. You got some fries and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the stuff uh, we're about to eat here? Yeah. So we'll start with the smoking J. That's our signature sandwich. Uh, we got brisket we smoked for 16 hours. Uh, on top of a bed of coleslaw, and on top of that, we got pork belly. That's a seven-day process. Wow! So we cure it for three days um, with a dry rub. Then we smoke it for a couple hours, chill it back down. Then we braise it for four hours, wow. chill it back down, and then we fry it to order. Uh, so that's, that's a, a process. That's man. a long, <laughs> delicious process. The pork belly. That's like the editing process on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right? We serve that on a brioche bun, and then we got our chili cheese fries. So we take all the uh, trimmings of the brisket that we don't want to sell and we make chili with it. Awesome chili. Wow. As you're about to experience. So we got the chili cheese fries, uh, which are our Cajun fries with a house-made Cajun blend. Our chili on, to that, on top of that, um, where we use any trimmings from the brisket that uh, we can't sell or that uh -huh. we throw from the day before. Cheese sauce that we use for our mac and cheese. Some cheddar on, melted on top of that and some red onions. That looks amazing, man. Uh, yeah, that's, you're gonna enjoy that. That's the ticket. Uh, I got house-made pickled onions. Our chicken, which is the unspoken hero. People don't that get is, chicken huh? uh, at barbecue <laughs> places because it's typically dry. This is the juiciest is, bird you're ever going to have. This is some juicy the stuff right there. Right. <laughs> you heard it from the smoking jays. This is some juicy chicken right here. So you got to try this out. And then we got our uh, menage hog. We got pulled pork. We got pork belly again. And then we have our boneless rib. Which our boneless rib is when we take our, our spare ribs, we braise them till they're soft enough for the bones to fall out, then throw them in a pan of pork stock and barbecue sauce, and put that back on the smoker for a couple hours. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of flavor in that burrito. I can see some of that thick fries yep. Yep. peeking yep. out then over there too. Throw the Cajun fries, the coleslaw, a little barbecue sauce, and some slaw sauce in there for the burrito. It's a, a meal all wrapped up in a tortilla. I get it, menage a yeah. hog. I there get it, man. Three three meats, man. That is amazing. We got one that's just two called the monogamous hog. Wow. That doesn't have the boneless rib. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> My go-to is either the chili cheese fries or the chicken. That's what I eat the most of as well, although Whenever I get my hands on a smoking Jay sandwich, I'm in heaven. Awesome. <laughs> Josh eats all the ribs that we don't want to serve to customers. Is that, is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. All, all the ribs Josh that ribs. all the ribs that accidentally get overcooked. We never let anything that that <laughs> is overcooked go out to a customer. They all become my meal. The three Jays right now. That's mm -hmm. right. crazy. We're open seven days a week. We even do breakfast Tuesday through Sunday. If you ever never thought about barbecue for breakfast, definitely got to check it out. It's great. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Chicken fried brisket, breakfast burritos. Oh yeah. wow. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> See that? That's the uniqueness that Smoke and Jays is bringing. Go check them out, guys. Thank you, thanks, All right, fellas. Enjoy. <laughs> Special thanks to the two Smoke and Jays, Jeremy and Josh, for explaining what type of foods we're having. So first off, we're gonna try out their chili cheese fries. Wow, this looks amazing. I love the seasoning on this. That is on point. And he even gave me this special ketchup that they make. The chili is tender and nice. Wow. Not only does the chili make this, but the way they season their fries. Oh, it's great. Wow. And get some of those pickled onions in here. Mm. Chili cheese fries, thumbs up guys. All right guys, so we're gonna try out the Chronic Ale Amber Ale from Pizza Port, which is another local spot. So cheers. Mm. Wow, this is only 4.9, so it's very refreshing. It actually tastes kind of like candy. Like a lime Skittles, in a way. Definitely recommend anything from Pizza Port, but this Chronic Ale, this is my first time actually trying this. I like it. So this is where Josh and Jeremy bring the San Diego flavor to Smoke and Jays. They made this burrito called the Menage Hog. Instead of salsa, you're gonna use their amazing barbecue sauce. They also have the amazing seasoned fries that are in their uh, chili cheese fries. Cheers. I'm down market the... Just wow. Three different types of meat. You got the coleslaw in here instead of like a pico de gallo. This is very unique, guys. I would come here just to try this. Mmm, I like the barbecue sauce. It's got a little twang to it, twangy, tangy feeling to it. That is good. So next up, we're gonna try out the chicken. The rub they put on this looks amazing. All right, let's try it out without the sauce first. Mmm, okay. I know what they mean by it being very juicy. Now let's dip it into the sauce. Mmm, the seasoning, the rub on the top of this is amazing. Next up is their most popular item and this is their Smokin' Jays sandwich on a brioche bun. Wow. I can see why. This is the most popular. I believe this is what I ordered last time I was here. So good. Mmm. Already a party foul guys. Dropping coleslaw on my throat. We keep them on door one so they cook faster. You don't really want to do chickens low and slow. You uh -huh. want to cook them two, two and a half hours. I had one of those. Do you have one of those? <laughs> and in, in about 30 minutes, you'll see it'll like release moisture onto the skin and look uh -huh. beautiful. Then we got our uh, St. Louis style spare ribs that we're actually glazing now in our barbecue sauce. So that's different for us. We always did a dry rub, burn ends going. They got a little bit of time left. Yeah. They smoke for about two, two and a half hours. We got some smoked veg that I need to take out right now, actually. That gets blended into our barbecue sauce. Part of the magic right there. Like, I, I felt <laughs> a little like tang to your, well, yeah. to your barbecue yeah. sauce. Yeah, we got uh, kind of a blend of Santa Fe chilies, uh, onion, and garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure, have a good day. All right, Josh, I just had the most amazing lunch, man. Fantastic. Wow. You guys are killing it here. Why, thank you. Man. And one of these days, I'm gonna come back and try some breakfast. You gotta come back for breakfast, man. <laughs> it, it is killer, yeah. That's it from Poway. We're gonna head over to the next place. Thanks again, Josh. Appreciate Smoke it, and Jay's Barbecue in Poway. Go check them out, 100% recommend it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Jay. All right, JK Shinners, before we move on to the next spot on the best barbecue in San Diego. I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing as I have plenty of San Diego food and travel content as well as a growing library of Las Vegas content, Barcelona and world content to come. So make sure you're checking out Jaycation and now back to the best barbecue in San Diego. We're off to the next barbecue spot here in the best barbecue in San Diego video. This is Phil's Barbecue. They are all over San Diego. They are a staple. Their original location in Mission Hill slash Hillcrest, I've been going to since I was a teenager. It's no longer there. This was his first ever flagship restaurant and during the weekends the lines wrap around the corner likely i'm filming this on a weekday when it's a lot quieter let's go inside of phil's barbecue and try out some of my favorite dishes and maybe a couple of new things that you haven't seen yet tourists love 
this spot and locals do love it too here as well because they're all over the county of San Diego. Check out that deal guys. You buy a Phil's barbecue pint glass for $9.99. Your first beer is free and then every refill after that's only four bucks. Now we're having the Bald Blonde which is a collaboration beer with Stone Brewing which is probably one of the top, if not the top breweries here in San Diego. This is the Bald Blonde, cheers. Andy. That's good. Nice and crisp on a nice summer day. This is very light, so it'll go really well with some ribs. There are quite a few more other locations around San Diego County and outside of San Diego County. There's actually one in Temecula now too. If you're leaving San Diego from Terminal 2, if you're lucky enough, you get to try out Phil's Barbecue over there because they do have a location there. I've had it a couple of times. I also see that there's a location in Santee now. Phil's is popping up everywhere and you can also get their barbecue sauce, I believe, over at Costco. Check it out. Their barbecue sauce here is amazing. That's that fat beef bone right there. That is a fat one right there. That bad boy. Appreciate it. Gilbert. We got it. And then we got your onion rings coming, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Gets messy. So you got to get a bib to provide you with a bib. And you know, I got this nice shirt on. So the bib is secured. When you go to order, you can tell them you want the barbecue sauce up top or if you want it on the side or none at all. Just make sure you tell them that and list your preference so you're not surprised. Me, I love barbecue sauce. The more, the merrier. And their barbecue sauce here is some of the best. So this is the chicken right here. Cheers. That's so juicy. I'm gonna go with a little bit of ketchup with the fries. But since we got onion rings too, we got ranch. We definitely gotta dip the fries into the ranch. Mm. Next up, we're going with the onion rings. And I'm telling you, these are amazing. Very thick outer layer. You can see the shine in it. You gotta dip it in the sauce. The crisp on this onion ring with the ranch. Yeah, can't beat it, guys. Mm. That's two thumbs up right there. We gotta have the macaroni salad. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite side of all time here at Phil's. Sometimes I'll even get two sides of macaroni salad. So, here it is. Mm. I love the crisp of the celery in here. It's a must, especially if you're a Mac salad fan. You guys are gonna laugh, but today I got fries, but sometimes I get steamed vegetables over here because sometimes you just gotta have your greens and your veggies, your carrots. This is where we're gonna start getting down and dirty. We're gonna try out the baby back pork ribs here. Dip it in the barbecue sauce. Mm. Wow. Next to the El Toro sandwich, baby back ribs is my next go-to when I order here at Phil's. So good. Mm. That is amazing. Also, make sure your hands are clean so you can lick your fingers. We also got some Tabasco sauce. Pour it on the chicken. Mm. So they also have Creole seasoning here for you on the side. Tapatio, Tabasco. We're moving on to the main event here, and this is the El Toro. This is my number one go-to meal here when I go to Phil's Barbecue. It is a deli sliced tri-chip sandwich that is char-grilled and topped with barbecue sauce on a nice bun. And it is actually the fan addict's pick here at Phil's Barbecue. Usually it's hard to eat it like a sandwich, so I usually just start picking at it. I take the top bun off, and I usually just start eating from the top. I technically don't eat it like a sandwich. Mm. Nothing beats that tri-chip, guys. The bun is also really good. So I just use it as a piece of bread, usually. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is a big beef rib. Look how huge this is. I love it. Y'all already know I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it too. Mmm, that's what the bib is for. Bon appetit. Mmm. Well, I got a bite of the fat too. This beef rib is crazy. This is well charred, very fatty, very juicy. Man. Mmm-hmm. What they told me I need to try is their cornbread that they just started serving and they just gave me a whole plate of cornbread. We're just gonna dig into it. Moist. It kinda tastes a little bit like Filipino babinka. You put the butter on it. This is cornbread done right. You're gonna wanna share this with your friends and your family for sure. And finally, they brought me a giant pickle. But y'all know I'm not a pickle person, but Madi and Mama might be, so I'm gonna take this pickle back home, but 
If you guys are pickle people, pick one of these up. Anyways, we're gonna finish up this bald blonde. Cheers. Also, JK Shinner, since it does get really messy on your hands when you're eating all that barbecue, they do have a wash station here in the corner of the restaurant. So make sure you're washing your hands so you can get it finger looking good and clean. All right, JK Shinner, so I am here with Gilbert and he is a fellow native San Diegan and he's one of the managers here at Phil's and he's been taking great care of me, so thank you. Appreciate that, no problem, man. If you were to come here on any weekday, weekend, but most preferably the weekend, mm -hmm. you better watch out because we got a line. So you, oh, gotta, yeah, you gotta be patient, but the food is great. It's always hot, it's ready to go. It's just the excitement and the energy around here, you know? In my experience though, that that line, even though it's long, it moves pretty fast because you fast. guys are so efficient. When yeah. you do the order, it comes out yeah. quick. Extremely quick. The line may, may scare you, but as long as you have a little bit of patience, within 20 to 30 minutes at the most, at the back of the line, around the yep. building, you're in the door, you're sitting down, you're ready to eat, and you know, you're not hangry anymore. Yeah, you're not yeah. angry anymore, for <laughs> yeah. sure. And you guys got a great bar. I mean, look at all the local selection you have here. We just want to be in the community, right? Nice. We just want to like reach out to the Bay City or Modern Times yeah. or or Thorn Street. I was, or, I was actually going to ask you after this. I want to try a small tasting of that Murky Machado. Yeah, man, that Murky Machado. <laughs> like, we all know about Machado right uh, here, right? Manny's our captain, yeah, baby. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big Padres fan, born and raised nice. here. I, I finally, you know, we're putting stuff together, but just like that 394, you know, everyone's got it, yeah. but it's a classic Have beer. you tried the Hazy 394? Oh, yeah, the Hazy's really good, it's too, good. man. Yeah. yeah. You can go to Costco and it's seasonal that you can get the barbecue sauce yeah, from Yeah, you get the, the, the sauce from Phil's. And there's some local stores around San Diego. And you sell it here, right? Every day. So people that are out of town leave here with a couple of bottles because yep. you're gonna regret it if you don't. Yeah, we could even ship it. You know, I also went to a Phil's in Temecula. Oh, That's yeah. not even San Diego County anymore. I, we are starting to expand outside of our circle. I love the full rack of pork ribs with the macaroni salad and the french fries. Yep. My favorite. Dude. We're, like, we're, we're on, dude, we're on San the same level. Man. We yeah, know what's we, up, dude. We know what's up, for SD sure. to Spring Valley. We're gonna finish this off with a Murky Machado, our captain. So everybody go check out Phil's Barbecue. Location's all over San Diego, you yep. can't miss it. And uh, if you come here to Point Loma, come and say hi to- Come see Gilbert in the bar. Yep. So cheers. cheers. Go Padres. Heck yeah. And thanks a lot, and we're off to the next spot. So nice. thanks. I wanted to give you a couple of special mentions for this video. So Coops over in Lemon Grove slash Spring Valley, that's also a great place. Grand Ole Barbecue, which is a little further down. I think it's like in Warner Springs slash Alpine. And those are two spots I wanted to give special mention to. JK Shinners, we made it to the third spot on the list for best barbecue in San Diego. And this is Abby's Barbecue. I just loved their pulled pork. We're gonna go inside, talk to the owners, and have a nice meal here at Abby's off of Miramar Road. If you've seen my hidden gems in Miramar video, if you wanna check that out, I'll have it linked down below. We're gonna start off with some burnt ends. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm, man, it's so soft on the inside. The burnt char is on point. And the sauce, yes. Wow. I am here with Mark, who's one of the owners. What's up, man? How you doing today? Thanks for having me, Anytime. man. We're a family-owned business. We, we've we been open for 40 years. Growing up, watching my dad do the same thing. Thank you for featuring you, us. We appreciate you it. You got it, man. When our younger sister, Abigail, was born, that was dad's first daughter, first girl. Ooh. So we named it Abby's Texas Barbecue after her. People always ask us, like, why isn't it named like Mark's Barbecue or Matt's Barbecue? We rock with it, man. We have our family business. We love our family. So Abby's Barbecue is what we're sticking with, and that's that's how the name came about. That's a household name now. Yeah. So we're not gonna we're not gonna change it, dude. It's gonna stay in Abby's. Not two M's. Not two M's. <laughs> not double M barbecue. This is what Texas smoking is about right now. This is what it is. Offset wood, offset fire, offset heat. We do hickory, we do mesquite, we do green oak, and we do a little San Diego flair. We throw avocado in there. Really? You see a lot of people, yeah. they don't do that. They don't know, you know, they do pecan or cherry or apple. Well, we think because it's San Diego, why not throw a wood that's native to this area? Yeah. And avocado, uh, check this bad boy. Now, they, we just loaded these up. So these are gonna go for a while. These chicken are gonna go for about four, hours or so, three to four hours uh -huh. um, on low and slow. And as you can see, there's no fire actually touching it. It's and a this, labor of love. Everyone who smokes yeah. needs to know that. This is our Alto Sham. It basically just keeps them warm. Let them rest so that way they don't dry out. What's nice is when it sits in here too, it renders the fat a little bit more. He was like, you need to make more sauce. I've made like seven batches since yesterday of sauce. Uh -huh. Like seven of these. And it's like, we're gonna run out, I have two buckets left over, and we're gonna make more. If you guys wanna know what the ingredients are, it's none of your business. Yeah, none of your business, you'll never <laughs> know. Just like who am I dating? 
Nunya, Nunya business. business. We know who Nunya is. Yeah. yeah, you've heard of Nunya, right? Yeah. Same with the beans. You, we never used to cook beans like we do now. Now, oh my, our beans, my recipe, if I can kind of take some uh, credit along with this guy. We go through tons of beans as well. Every day. We Every day, we're cooking nice. two kettles of beans. We that, put brisket in ours. Oh too, man, it's, it's real nice. Our yeah. beans are ranch style. That's something we always like to tell our customers because a lot of people are used to baked beans. Nothing wrong with that. Smoker was hand built, hand delivered from Mesquite Dallas. No electric and no gas that's helping us start this wood. We sit there, old school style, stacking it up like you're in the, you know, Boy Scouts or something. Yeah. This thing dies midday. It's a pain to go and sit there and try to get it going again. This is my aunt. She's been with us for 31 years. She takes care of us like her own kids. Those who have been coming here literally come in here and always ask about her. Her name is Yom. We call her mom in our language because that's what she is to us. She takes great care of this whole place. She is the first one inside this restaurant, believe it or not, getting the pig going. Nice. And she's been doing that for 31 years. Yom's so, the best. Yom's the best, we love her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you know if a pork is cooked perfectly. You know. That is hot, but that is sexy right there. Yeah. You can't beat that, man. That's a perfectly cooked pork. That's like 18 hours right there. And we got a nice end cut right there, you guys. Something different that we do that a lot of other places don't do is uh, they'll actually have specific cuts of meat for their burn end. We literally take our burn end straight off the brisket and the pulled pork. So right here to start, we have our baby back ribs. They're dry, so for those of you wondering, do we cook it? you know, with sauce, mm -hmm. we don't. During the smoking process, all of the meats are gonna be dry. We don't cook it with sauce. We put the sauce on after. I actually put it on the side for you guys to kind of get uh, a glimpse of the meat, and for my you know fellow Southerners, they know to put the sauce on the side. They, that's Sweet. like an accent. Yeah. Is, too. That, is that what it is? That's the house barbecue gotcha. sauce. Pulled pork, along with the brisket, are uh, smoked for about 16, 24 hours. Wow, that's what I smoking. remember coming here in the past. Uh -huh. The pulled pork. Next up, I have the brisket. That's my personal favorite. You guys you can't go wrong with that. Next up, you have our mild kielbasa, and then our hot links. So those are two types of sausage that we serve. Kielbasa is going to be a German style sausage. It's a little bit more on the salty. Um, savory uh -huh. side, whereas the hollings are the spicy, so ours are Louisiana style. You'll know by the red tint. We've got our homemade coleslaw and then our cornbread and homemade rice topped with beans. Cornbread is fantastic. It's addicting. It's really good. It's very it's sweet. So mm -hmm. for those of you who like a little sweet tooth, you'll love it. And then um, I have our Cajun style fries and our battered onion rings here. Yeah, check out the uh, seasoning they yeah. have here. It looks it's so good. I've already had a couple. Uh, yeah, it's hard not to nibble on them. I swear, <laughs> right. I'm telling you, it's right. hard not to nibble on them when you're <laughs> When I serve them, I'm, I'm like tempted to grab a couple every time. Yeah. Like, man, those are so it's good. It's time to eat. I'm not used to seeing rice at a barbecue place, so that's yeah. pretty cool. That's a little unique for you Most guys. Most people so. aren't, but uh, the ones who have tried it seem to be really about Into it. it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm Filipino, so uh, we have rice with everything. Oh, brisket and hot links. You can do that on a sandwich or platter. That is probably one of my favorite combinations uh -huh. of meats. They both accent each other really well. Really the spice from the links and then the brisket smokiness kind of masks the spice. The brisket and pulled pork are another great top seller. That's huge here. Come check us out on Miramar. We're open every day, 11 to 9. And we are right behind the Denny's and Better Buzz. Super, super great hotspots for you guys. This is brewery heaven here in Miramar. Yeah. And the Philadelphia Cheesesteak uh, Sandwich Company is just the two doors oh, down. Oh yeah, that's my dude Joe. You guys <laughs> gotta check him out if you like Phillies. That's for another video though. That's, <laughs> that's for next time. Thanks man. Pleasure having thanks you. Thanks for your time. Appreciate Anytime. It. Special thanks to everybody here at Abby's Barbecue for having me today. Now we're gonna start off with a local beer, which is just down the street here in Miramar. This is called Embolden Brewery on very, very good lager. So let's check it out. Ooh, wow. Now this is money. It's supposed to be kind of like a Shinerbach. If you want to have a nice brew with your barbecue, try this out. Cheers. New season fries are on point. I love it. Now we're gonna try out the onion rings. Mmm, nice and crisp. You all know I love hot links. I love spice in the hot links here. Let's try this out. Mmm, it's good. Nice slice to it too. Next up, we're gonna try out the kielbasa. That's some killer kielbasa. Now we're gonna try out some of their beans with rice on it. It's almost like a rice peel off. Not used to having rice here at a barbecue spot, but hey, that's, that's what makes them unique. That goes with it. And you know what? We got the sauce on the side. I'm gonna put the pulled pork in the sauce. Now this is what I love about Abby's. The pulled pork is what got me hooked. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. That is on point. Next up, a little bit of the coleslaw. A nice mix of hot and a nice mix of cold here. Now let's try out some other cornbread. I like the powdered sugar up top. Nice and light, nice and sweet. Definitely a good mix. So I'm gonna save the ribs for last. So let's dig in. Gotta put in some sauce in here. We all saw the barbecue sauce out back. It looks really good. And these ribs are good too. Mm-hmm, that's a thumbs up. All right, JK Shinners, I'm gonna finish up this Emboldened Brewery. Let's move on to the final spot, which is over in Spring Valley here in San Diego. We're now at the final spot for best barbecue in San Diego, and it is here in Spring Valley. This is Cali Comfort. We're about to have a barbecue feast here. They do cater, and they do have a huge restaurant with an amazing patio. Let's try out this final spot. Cali Comfort. We're here at Cali Comfort and I am with Ian who is the manager here and wow man you guys came out with the food real quick. Yep. What do we have here? In front of you we have uh, our tailgater barbecue feast. Feast about four to five people, four to five hungry hungry people. And so it comes with a little bit of everything. You get uh, half of uh, a chicken um, that's smoked for right three hours um, on our old hickory pit. Um, then we got a half rack of ribs. Uh, we do those for about two hours. It comes with rib tips. We fabricate our uh, ribs in house so, oh, so wow. you get some, yep, we get some rib tips on there for you guys as well. Then the real stars are uh, the brisket. Smoke that that's overnight. Right yep, that goes on for about 12 hours. Tri-tip um, and our pulled pork. Uh, the tri-tip we, we do a reverse sear on it so uh, we smoke it uh, and then we throw it on, a, on on some flames and get a nice nice sear on it to seal in uh, all that flavor for you guys. Buffalo wings are, are definitely a, a hot seller. Um, great great for watching games. We got every sporting event that's on TV. We also just launched uh, Cali Wings down at our Barrio Logan uh, Ghost Kitchen location at the Barrio Food Hub. So check that out too uh, for all those delivery uh, platforms. We got our wedding beans right here. That's uh, definitely a signature side here at the restaurant. So it's uh, barbecue, baked beans. Uh, we throw some pulled pork in there and doctor it up a little bit. Everything's made in-house. So we got a coleslaw, potato salad, uh, and our mac and cheese. And then uh, the tailgater comes with five uh, jalapeno cheddar cornbreads as well. My favorite thing so far, because I'm a big Padre fan, is the Slam Diego Growler. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about what's in the Slam Diego growler? Yeah, so the Slam Diego, uh, we did a little twist on a, on a whiskey sour. We used Jack Daniels, our sour mix, um, and then we put some pineapple juice and amaretto in there. It's definitely a hot seller. It comes with uh, smoked pineapple as well as the garnish, uh, which is something cool that we're able to do uh, since we do have a bunch of smokers here at the restaurant. Wow, man, and then you got the uh, pineapple here. The fish bowls come with, uh, with a duck as well. Just just a little fun <laughs> if, you, if you got kids with you while you're while you're drinking as well. Yeah, wow, this is gonna be a feast right here. Yes, sir. This we we can pack some stuff up. For us. <laughs> Come check us out down in the Spring Valley. Um, and, you know, if you're if you're closer down to uh, downtown area, uh, check out the Barrio Food Hub as well. We're back open doing dining. We've done a lot of changes inside and out, so come check us out. A lot of beautiful decorations with Kobe, the Padres, the Gulls, all the San Diego love over here. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any San Diego sports team, we're, we're, we're all about them. Shout out to Ian and shout out to Sean. Much appreciated, and we're going to get to grubbing. Right on. Thanks, Thanks guys. Man. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Right on. I am overwhelmed right now. I do not know what I need to start with here. I know I'm not gonna be able to finish this stuff. You guys know I'm a weak eater. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try every single thing today. Here we go. So let's start off with the sides. So let's try some of this mac and cheese. Mmm. Oh yeah, very classic. Ooh, it's got a little spice to it too. I like it. Mmm, now that's a good start. Another thing that I love is potato salad and we got the potato salad right here. It's nice and filling. Mm-hmm, that's a thumbs up. You guys will see in this video that I am a big fan of potato salad and this would definitely be what I order when I'm here. Now we got the beans here with pulled pork in the inside. Oh wow, I can definitely do these beans as well. That's what she said. A little bit of their coleslaw. Oh, tasty. Wow, that's good. All right, so they got the smoked pineapple. We are gonna go with the Slam Diego growler now. We're gonna pour it in. It's gonna go with a little bit. Can't go with too much. Put it into this huge bowl here with the rubber ducky. They really go all out with this Slam Diego growler. Ready to pour mix cocktail. So good. Oh, wow. The pineapple mixed with the amaretto and the Jack Daniels. 
it is fire wow you gotta be careful with this because if you drink way too much of this oh it'll be a long day i really dig the slam diego growler you guys gotta pick it up and then if you can't finish it just take it home wow okay i gotta be careful back to the food let's go with the brisket wow it's so soft i just put my fork in it and it already broke apart wow 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 cheers Mmm. oh my my oh my that's what's up oh my god like i could totally down this right now if i didn't if i knew i didn't have to try everything i could totally kill this brisket wow that's a winner so the tailgater can feed easily four to five people, maybe even six. I would definitely recommend this because it comes with all this. Tailgater is $79.99. So for four to six people, for it to serve you that this much meat, come on, you gotta go for the tailgater for sure. That is amazing. Cheers. Let's go with the pickled onions here. Mmm. So this is their tri-tip, which that they said that they cook for two hours. Mm. Wow, that is sweet. Man, I don't even know. I think I like everything so far. Now I'm trying the half a chicken, and it looks freaking amazing. That is soft too. Mm. The smoky flavor to this chicken. Wow, that is good. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so now we're gonna try out the ribs right here check that out so Ian just brought out the jalapeno barbecue thanks man I'm gonna dip the ribs in the jalapeno barbecue sauce because why not Wow 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 mmm yes please so it's not too spicy so if you just like it to be like a subtle spice jalapeno barbecue is the thing to do this would have been perfect to bring Dan versus world here he would have smashed this stuff I am struggling Look, I can't even use these tongs for the meat. I need some more carbs in my life. Yes, sir. So these are the rib tips right here. Wow. It's just like that BTS song, smooth like butter. It is so soft. All right, now we're gonna try out the, the pulled pork. I'm in love with the jalapeno barbecue sauce that Ian took out. Wow. Mmm. We're gonna go with the buffalo wings. And you guys know I love buffalo wings. I love ranch sauce. So we're gonna try out their buffalo wings right here. Cheers. Mm, not too hot, but the buffalo flavor is amazing. These wings are huge too, guys. Man, all these wings are so good. I always gotta top it off with some celery. Mmm. All right. Might as well have some carrots with it too, right guys? What's up, Doc? I'll tell you guys though. This potato salad is amazing. Wow. Jalapeno cheddar cornbread, I believe? Mmm. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste the jalapeno spice to the cornbread here. Sorry for the lack of ad adjectives, guys, but wow. Man, oh man. They threw out all the freaking great stuff here, guys. Look at this. Now they got the peach cobbler, you got your whipped cream with the cherry on top, two scoops of vanilla ice cream with caramel in it. I was supposed to be on the diet this week. Get a little bit of that peach, get some of that crust there, ice cream and caramel. To die for. Over here at Cali Comfort, they know their dessert because they only have one dessert item on the menu and that's the peach cobbler with the vanilla ice cream and I can see why because that thing is delicious. There's nothing else you need after having this barbecue feast here in Spring Valley, but the peach cobbler. With San Diego being such a dog friendly place, you can come over here to this awesome patio and have your dog with you. Just down the street is El Puerto where they have the California burrito where they use hash browns instead of french fries. And that's included in my top five California burritos video. So check that out up here or in the link below. You know I'm a weak eater, so look at all the food that we're taking home. Dadcation and Momcation are gonna have a feast tonight. The other side of the building, they have to go and pick up orders only. If you're coming here to pick up to go, 
go to the other side of the building. All right, Jaycationers, so that was the best barbecue in all of San Diego. And really, essentially, all you need to know are these four places. Cali Comfort was amazing. This barbecue feast I just had is gonna have me full for the rest of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed Phil's Barbecue, Smoking Jays, and Abby's Cali Comfort. If you wanna have a feast, you come here. If you guys like seeing more videos like this around San Diego, please let me know in the comment section below. I have a top five California burritos, best tacos in San Diego video. So make sure you check that all out. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Go check out my Patreon or my PayPal if you want to help support Jcation in 2021. I also have a Facebook page with over 2,000 members that talks about news, tips, and recommendations all around San Diego. Special thanks to Sean over here at Cali Comfort for taking care of us. Please hit that subscribe button. I got tons of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content to come. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, not stay classy, San Diego, but stay traveling. San Diego. Mm -hmm.